such as life. Robert's mental health seems to stem mainly from his father's untimely death when he was a young boy. So he didn't experience the full potential of the relationship that he was expecting to have with his father. But Robert's drug use really started early with his um with his introduction to marijuana. From there he quickly found a love for drugs and drug use. It really helped to uh help to seal seal the hole that he had in his heart. Yeah, yeah. My anxiety is pretty bad at the moment. It's not so bad me smoking pot, it helps me stay off all these other things, you know? Oh, well maybe that is a bit of an issue. Maybe, maybe you need something to come down, do you know? Maybe another bottle? Maybe another bottle? Yeah. Or Zanny's? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, have you tried Cericles before? Would you like to try Cericles? We've also we've helped uh, move him into housing so he can be closer to other drug addicts to help him help him understand the struggles, mainly other people who, who need... Yeah, I can get you the money by Friday. I've got a bearded wagon at home I can sell. You talked about wanting to get back into the zoo. Oh yeah, like, there's a golf course right near me, East Lakes Golf Course. I even saved a dead bird the other day. Bob's trajectory went downhill after the Xanax prescription. <laughs> with discussion with his mother, and we decided it was best that he moved into a rehab facility. He left the rehab facility, unbeknownst to us, and discovered the drug methamphetamine. And that really started, started Bob's descent into hell. Yes. He went into the Royal National Park that he had taken half, a, half an ounce of meth with him and he proceeded to sit in the bush, smoke it. Crikey! He believed he was talking to his father, but I went, I went deep into the bush to find him, and I went deep into him as well. Such is life. Um, have you spoken to Bindi at all? Oh, fuck that bitch, man. I'll fucking kill her. Mm, totally understand. Like and subscribe.